up you guys it is margo and today i'm going to be doing a college q a i wanted to get this up before i leave um for summer this year just so i'm in a dorm room and it feels a little bit more real i have three more days of classes monday tuesday wednesday and then it's finals week and i'm headed home may 9th so it's pretty much all wrapping up really quickly and i wanted to get these questions in also because a lot of people are choosing what schools they're going to or just want to know more about if they chose Syracuse. So yeah, just so you guys kind of understand where I'm coming from, I'm going to give you a brief like bio of what I do, what school I go to, all of that stuff right off the bat. So I go to Syracuse University. I'm a sophomore. I am in the SI Newhouse School of Public Communications, which is like my favorite thing in the world and really the ultimate reason why I'm here. And my major is advertising and I'm minoring probably in the iSchool here, which is basically information technology. So coding, making websites, working with social media, all of that stuff. So it's kind of a dream major and minor for me and it's really cool that there's so many options here and I could find what I wanted to do for that. Before college, I knew that I wanted to go into communications just because obviously I love what I'm doing with YouTube and social media and that, that is something I wanna continue, but I wanna continue it on a more professional scale um, and I wanna have more credibility kind of. And also I just want stuff to fall back on. So I'm getting such an amazing education and I do wanna figure out how that can kind of line up with YouTube and my blog and everything that I'm doing now when I graduate but it's also really good to just have a degree in a f job that I can work in full time. I can work in an advertising house or work, f do campaigns or something with companies, um, which is amazing. So I'm gonna go through the questions, but I might get a little bit off topic just because I feel like there's a lot of advice I can give and just things that might relate to each other. Also, there's gonna be questions that are still coming in because Instagram is still up. But right now I have um, 600 questions, so. Okay, so one question that I saw a lot is how did you choose your college? And I'm gonna start with that just because obviously that's the beginning of my college career. So I have talked about this briefly in other videos. So really quickly, I applied, Syracuse is the only East Coast school that I um, applied to. I'm from the East Coast and I just kind of wanted to get out and experience something new. So I applied to mostly colleges in California and I got into most all the colleges that I applied to in California, which were LMU, Chapman, and Santa Clara. So between those three, I was most interested in going to LMU because it's basically right in LA. And my parents wanted me to go to Santa Clara out of those three just because academically, it's the most rigorous out of those three. That being said, I knew that I wanted to go into communications and deep down I knew that I wasn't going to LMU for the academic program for communications just because it wasn't necessarily what I was looking for. It was more like how to do public speaking and how to write speeches and that type of communication, not necessarily like business, advertising, PR, that kind of stuff. So deep down I knew that if I went to LMU it was really solely just to be in Los Angeles. So I had my heart set on LMU and my parents were going to support wherever I wanted to go to. They're so supportive, but at the end of the day, they wanted me to go to the best college that I had an opportunity to go to. Obviously, it's kind of the smartest way to do it. So after I had already had my heart set on LMU, I got an acceptance in the mail for Newhouse, which I was shocked about. And I really just applied to Newhouse because it is a prestigious communication school. Um, and my parents wanted me to apply there, but I knew nothing about it. So I was very shocked when I got in. I didn't have the best scores on my ACT. I think I had a 28 and I had a, a good GPA for high school, but it was nothing that crazy. I'm only saying this because Newhouse is harder to get into than Syracuse University as a whole. So if anyone's interested in it. That's why I'm sharing those stats. I get a lot of questions about it. That being said, my parents really wanted me to tour the school. So reluctantly, we drove up. It's about a four and a half hour drive from where I'm from. And I literally fell in love. It was the middle of April and it was hailing, which is 
it's middle of April right now and it's raining. Um, the weather is nothing special here. It's actually horrible. But I just fell in love with the school. Um, everything on campus is so walkable. I'm living in a dorm and I can walk to all of my classes. There's a lot of school spirit, which I really liked. And I got to see Newhouse and I just really fell in love with the Newhouse school. And it made me realize that I'm going to college for four years. I can suck up being in bad weather if I'm going to get an amazing education and experience out of it. So that's kind of how I chose if anyone is in a pickle obviously I would love to be in the LA sunshine and um, environment but at the end of the day I will always have the opportunity to move to LA and I'm not always gonna I'm never gonna move to Syracuse but it's like the best college experience that I think I could have gotten so I get a lot of questions about doing YouTube in college and Hannah Maloche. I'm pretty sure this is definitely the most liked comment on my picture. It has 50 likes on it. Um, Hannah asked best advice for a YouTuber going to college. First of all, I just want to say if you are a YouTuber and you're going to college, props and I think that's very admirable. Um, and I'm only saying that because I know that it's so much work, but at the end of the day, it's so worth it. My best advice for each we're going to college is to know your priorities and know how to manage your time, which might just come with practice once you come to school and you have to kind of experience that on your own. I have class at 9.30 and then no class until 5.15. And then the next day I'll have class from 12.30 to 4. And then I have another class from 5.15 to 6.30. And it changes every day. I don't have class on Friday. It's a very interesting, flexible scheduling but that being said you really have to understand how to manage your time and what to do with your free time anyways going back to the question about being a youtuber in college you just have to know when to put priorities first so sometimes i know that school is a first priority if it's final season i have to focus on finals if i have projects coming up i have to do those projects but if i have a little bit more time like i do today and i have this week then I can focus more on YouTube and editing and writing blogs and whatever. I think one of the biggest things is you just have to be okay with being flexible. I don't put pressure on myself to put out two videos a week on a certain day. I just try to get out the most content that I can and I want it to be quality content. I will also say, just talking about that, made me think that another reason why I love Syracuse and I think bigger schools have this benefit is that I have a lot of flexibility in choosing my schedules and even though it's hard to get into classes sometimes I have so many options of classes that I can take where it's usually not a problem and I can really work with my schedule and make it whereas if I went to a smaller school and there were less class options it's just harder to kind of have control over the classes that you're taking and also when you take them. Hannah asked how do you not gain the freshman 15? I'm stressed. So quite honestly I did gain weight my freshman year but it was kind of just about like feeling it out and carelessness and not really realizing what I was doing I think just last year also coincidentally that just started to be the year that my metabolism started slowing down I wasn't dancing every single day which obviously um, is a huge workout so you kind of just have to not be obsessive and be okay with gaining a little bit of weight it's fine who cares you do have to be a little bit more conscious about what you're eating and if you're working out and everything just because your schedule and your lifestyle is changing so much from when you were living at home. If you have your mindset on not gaining the freshman 15, you won't. Just try not to eat too poorly. Um, I had bagels every day for breakfast, which just isn't healthy and that's n really not helping you out. So just kind of be conscious and stay active it's so easy to just go to class come back do work take a nap go back to class that's just not a healthy lifestyle like go out if you're gonna drink that's a lot of calories um so yeah just be conscious but don't be obsessive because it's normal to gain weight when you come to college because your lifestyle is just so different a few people asked me about being vegan in college um syracuse new york is not the most vegan friendly place in some ways it really is vegan friendly we literally have a vegan restaurant on campus which is amazing and a lifesaver but at the end of the day if you want to be vegan or if you want to have a certain diet when you're at school if you put your mind to it you can do it it's not impossible i'm getting a lot of questions about boys 
so I will say it definitely ranges from different schools and I also think it changes depending on like the Greek life at your school um, just because just because I feel like I'm really only exposed to a certain group of boys just because I am in the Greek community um, I do have a boyfriend so I'm not really worried about that right now <laughs> just in general don't be weird that like when you get to school there's all these boys and whatever like please don't go crazy because you will have a reputation and you just know people that have certain reputations because of boys if you know what I mean so yeah that's just not a good look but it's obviously fun meeting people every school you go to is gonna be different with that situation so I don't really want to get too detailed into that but just don't be crazy, be fun, be nice, be open-minded, yeah. Maggie Marie asked, do people judge you at college for your YouTube channel? Honestly, behind closed doors they might, but I've never felt like I've gotten judged for having my YouTube channel. And if I do, like I literally could care less. Um, a lot more than feeling judged, I feel so supported, especially by Newhouse. Um, some of my professors, have literally been so amazing and so supportive one of my professors shout out professor takahashi is so helpful i've spoken in some of his lectures um i spoke to his at or his graduate classes and he literally interviewed me for national public radio which was just surreal and made me realize how supportive new house is of what i'm doing I really lucked out in the sense where they really value um, social media right now and they're trying to learn more about it as the industry is kind of moving into that world. In that sense, I'm so supported and I'm really um, comfortable talking to teachers and opening up about that. Yeah. Also, if you're doing something that you think people might judge you for, literally, that's just more of a reason to just go all in because if you're so passionate about something, if people judge you, they just look like assholes. One question I get a lot about being at college and Syracuse specifically is what do you do if you want to go to Syracuse but you don't want to go out that much just because Syracuse and other schools obviously do have reputations of being party schools. What I will say is I love going out but there's absolutely no pressure on me from my friends or from the school or whatever to go out when I don't want to. There's been plenty of nights where I just decided I wanted to stay in rather than going out and that's totally fine. The only problem you might have is having FOMO if your friends are going out. But other than that, like if you feel pressure from your friends to go out and like drink with them, then maybe just try to find new friends because that's not okay. Speaking of friends, so many people ask me about making friends and how do you make friends at college and what's the first few weeks like? And um, I saw somebody's, I can't find it right now, but somebody's question was about what if you try to just force yourself into friendships and they're kind of fake and it's not really an ideal friendship. So, I got so lucky and met my best friends literally before classes even started and that happened just through like random connections through home and through roommates and random stuff like that and that just really ended up working out. We literally have the same group chat that we made the first day of school and we added people. That being said, I also have a huge new group of girlfriends that I didn't know first semester that I met when I joined my sorority. Um, I have friends that I've met through classes and clubs and things like that. So there's so many ways to meet friends and there's really, you might feel a lot of pressure to meet friends and meet best friends the first month of school. And it's so fine if you don't because I've met some of my best friends this year. Also, with that whole idea, you are just going to want to put yourself out there the first two weeks of school because everyone is and it's so easy to get to know people because everyone is so open-minded and everyone wants to meet friends. So yeah, I met so many people the first two weeks of school that I don't remember their names anymore or I see them on campus and I don't remember how I know them or we're friendly or whatever the situation may be but there's no problem in just meeting people and figuring out if you guys are gonna work or not. I've n literally never had any drama with anyone at school. I'm just not that kind of person, so it's very avoidable. Somebody asked, what's your go-to outfit for class? Um, genuinely, it's leggings and a hoodie if, I'm, if I have a lot of effort. If not, it's 
a hoodie and sweatpants and my Air Force Ones. So Dina Maggie, I'm definitely saying that so wrong, said, would you ever want to hold a leadership position within your sorority? If so, which one? So I actually do have a leadership position in my sorority, which is so much fun. I am the co-director of public relations. So what that means for my sorority is I kind of keep an eye on everyone's social media and make sure everything is appropriate that people are posting. When you're in a sorority, a lot of what you do can kind of relate back to the sorority especially if it's related to different parties we have or events or whatever i'm just kind of in charge of making sure everything that's being posted is appropriate and doesn't have a bad like name for our house and i'm also in charge of running the instagram which is so much fun and i'm kind of starting to do a rainbow theme if you want to check it out s at try at hmm? <laughs> try delta underscore su i think i don't know also going off of that i do kind of hold two jobs as well um in relation to pr and social media so i run the instagram for a restaurant downtown called original grain and that's a lot of fun i get paid for that and i love the people that work there and i love the restaurant i'm there probably five times a week which is a lot um and I also take pictures for another company, Good Uncle. So if you guys are interested in doing stuff like that, I honestly, my best advice would be just to reach out to the owners or whatever contact you can get and see if they need help with their social media or whatever you may be interested in because a lot of times they would love a student helping and kind of student insight, especially if it's near college campuses and you can offer a really cool perspective for them. So this video is so long, so I'm going to end it here, but if you have any other questions, um, please comment them down below and i'll do my best to respond to all the comments um i might have answered one of your questions already in the comments if you want to check that out um but yeah if there's like a surplus of other questions i might film another video this summer or do a blog post answering some questions i love you guys so much i'm so glad i got to film this when i'm still at school and i will talk to you guys in my next video